Welcome to H1Z1. The game that is Fortnite, but not quite Fortnite. Now, this game I have some mixed feelings about, but I'm going to show you guys the video here, some gameplay, some cons and flaws, and well, we'll just, I guess we'll just see what goes on from there. But uh, this is my first uh, overview video, I guess. Um, commentary I guess because the footage you're seeing right now isn't actually what I'm playing right now um, actually I played that one earlier uh, so I have um, some mixed feelings about this game and I will get into this uh, just now with you because Jesus Christ is this like it's something special at least The game plays decently and is, at the very least, enjoyable. Its controls let it down a bit when it comes to the basics, and I found myself frustrated at the smallest things. So, sprinting, sprinting, for example, can sometimes work, and sometimes work for a second and then turn itself off again. However, my absolute biggest complaint is the sprinting. There are also, though, a few other major issues, but, um, the game plays kind of like Fortnite, and I may be comparing a lot in this video, so be prepared, but this is it plainly. Land with 99 others, grab what you can, and be the last one standing, whilst a gas or storm or whatever you want to say, whatever, closes in, forcing people to be near one another. In Fortnite, this works. It's, it's fun keeps it a steady frame rate, is easy to learn and hard to master, and even allows you to build, which is a unique turn in my books. H1Z1 however, not so much, it's constantly lagging, you can't build, it feels like you're fighting the controls more than the enemies themselves, you don't even get to choose where you land for god's sake, and it's just all round annoying to be frank. The positives, we have to look at the bright side here, and I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, it's in its fairly early stages, but that does not give it the excuse to have the problems I listed beforehand. Although building is technically Fortnite's uh, thing and, you know, unique uh, feature, this game has no unique features in it. Absolutely none. Except for the fact that you can get a big variety of grenades that you get no time to use because they suck. There's like frag and smoke and flashbang and stuff, I don't know. Uh, Molotovs also, but uh, it's anyway. Um, yeah. So, but anyway, they're one of the good things about the game is. Are you ready for this? You ready? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You can actually drive a car. Yeah. You can actually drive a car, and, and I have to say this is the most fun I've had in this game, a apart from blasting people's face off with a shotgun. It's probably the driving. I mean, seriously, the the cars are the most OP thing in the game. Did it feel the cars are the most OP thing in the game that it feels like if you don't have one from the get go, then give up and go home. I, I mean right now. And also a nice touch is that you, you know, you you start get you get to start off with five or six bandages, so yeah. Don't complain about health because it's actually alright. Except it's not. No. It really is not, it really isn't. But yeah. Cars. Because the storm moves fast and you only have little over a minute before the next one starts, a single minute, by the way, you know, j just about 80 seconds, no biggie. Not that you actually have to be the last one standing, no, 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 no. Y you just have to fight the sprint button as you narrowly avoid the gas, as, you know, so just the map is also so bland that even spreading a bit of jam on there is better than nothing. Ah. <sighs> It's much, much better. And and really, when you land, you're literally given two slots to pick up the weapons, and then you get more as the game goes on, but only up to four. Lovely. I'm, I'm giving all the games that I review an, an out of ten rating, and as this game, is H1Z1 Battle Royale, gets a solid, absolutely solid... 4 out of 10, it is actually quite trash, it's a meh, it, it's a meh, but hey it's free so what can you expect, 
Well, Fortnite's also an LSD just game. That's for free. So all, all I can say is this game is actual trash. No, really, it's it's horrible. But if you think you will somehow like it a lot, go download it. It's on PS4, and also get a therapist. Yeah. So hey, all all things. Uh, all good things must come to an end and that's why I'm ending this review here so if you did like that then just you know please hit that like button and subscribe for more and let me know in the comment section below what game I should cover thanks for watching and just rem just remember uh, if you want a battle royale let me just uh, tell you something H1Z1 sucks and you should not you should not get this but if you want something, I know what you should get. PUBG. But, yeah. yeah it's, seriously though, uh, PUBG is actually dog crap as well, so get uh, Fortnite. Fortnite Battle Royale, you don't have to pay for it, unlike PUBG, and it's not actually horrible. Unlike uh, H1Z1 Battle Royale, so I would say uh, if if you love yourself, then do not subject yourself to this. Even if you don't love yourself, do not subject yourself to this steaming pale of shit. Anyway, uh, guys, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, go check out my other stuff and let me know what other games you want me to review. Bye.